for rescue, res rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful. Somebody say that. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. You, you, you say, I don't need the Lord's help. You don't need his help. Right. You don't need his help. And there I am. Right. Oh, help, Lord. I'll tell you, we need God's help. We need godly men. We need godly boys and girls. In verse 1, we need faithful people. Yeah. We need faithful. I'll talk about churches are changing. Preachers are changing. Hey, they used to meet Sunday night. They don't meet, meet Sunday night anymore. They used to meet on Wednesday evening. They, they take, they're doing away with Sunday school. I'm talking about, brother, they're coming in. And they're dressed like the world, oh. acting like the world, bringing the devil's music. We need help. We need, we got used to these. I used to play at the piano. I used to sing in the choir. I used to be an usher. I used to go sewing. Don't be a used to be. Somebody, we need God's help. We need faithful bus drivers. We need faithful van drivers. We need faithful Sunday school teachers. Oh, I used to do that. I used to dress like a Christian. Oh, God help. We need to cry out for help. Somebody say amen. We need help with those that run the mouth. Verse 2, we need those on the, they need help. And, <laughs> tweeting, use tweet, use tweet good. Don't use, don't, don't use tweet to cuss somebody out. Somebody say it. We want to use tweet good. Come on, come on. With the flattering tongue, with the flattering pen, with the flattering computer. Oh, they're speaking against these things. But God's going to cut it off in verse 2. We need God's help. He'll deal with it. Who would say with our own tongue will prevail? We need God's help with these that, that don't want them. God to rule over them, God to work with them in their hearts and correct them and help them. And, oh, we need help with the poor. We need help, verse 5, for the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy. Now will I rise, saith the Lord, I will set in their safety from him that puffed at him. Somebody's got to stand for the poor. What about that poor baby ripped out of that mother's womb? Millions of babies that are being aborted. Help God. God may he change this Roll thing, this devil stuff, this stuff of abortion. Somebody said, roll versus wait. Yes. Gotta turn it around and yes. do away with the bloody killing in that womb. Yes. That poor baby, that sigh of the baby. And they want to kill the baby right before it comes out the mother and after these wicked, stinking politicians want to rainbow the buildings in New York City and pass laws. How wicked and barbaric. I, I can't, uh, uh, God forgive us, please, our country. May we be like Daniel, say, help. May we be like Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar, no, no, not like Nebuchadnezzar. May we, may, we, may we be like Shadrach and a bit, Meshach and a bit. No, no, wicked Nebuchadnezzar. God help us. That God don't send Nebuchadnezzar against us. God don't raise him, nor creep. You better read your Bible. The government raised the Russians. Right. Friend, I love you. I'm not trying to scare you, but Esther was taken into captivity. Daniel was taken away. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to wake you up. Yeah. I told you, I shared with you this morning, all nations that forget God shall be turned to hell. Psalms 917. Right. Right. We need God's help. Yeah. God help us. And realize that he, we need a, oh, oh, verse, verse uh, 6 and 7 and 8. Uh, we, we need God's help with this matter, these floods of different translations, these counterfeit Bibles coming in. We need God's help, friend. Friend, I don't, I don't know if you sense the need like I sense. I've never sensed the need of God. I need God's help more than I ever needed Him before. Hebrews and go there real quickly and go to Hebrews if you will and in your Bible and we're taking it a little further tonight and in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 6 so that we may boldly say the Lord is my what? He's my helper. Let me say he's my helper. And I will not fear what man can do unto me. Do you know there's one time Martin Luther King launched a pulpit where they were threatening him and they Bob, by the way, they bombed. Okay, 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 okay. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. He made comments that he fears no man. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He said, I fear no man. Yeah. He said, Pastor, what's been happening to you lately? I ain't been fearing no man. Yeah. I, I'm 
going. I'm, 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 I'm fed up with the stick and race racism. I'm fed up with these race uh, races, white preachers and black preachers. I'm fed up with these racist politicians. No, I don't believe our president's racist. Yeah. I believe the race is trying to use him to make him look like a racist so that they can get in office. And they can promote their socialist agenda and communist agenda. Hello? Are you understanding where I'm going tonight? I'm fed up with this stinking job. And Martin Luther King says, I fear no man. Let me tell you something. Paul said this. No talking, please. I said, no talking. Zero talking, please. Well, brother, those girls got bombed in the church. And they died. I mean, they, they bombed. They bombed. Those, those Sunday school black girls were destroyed by a bomb. Do you know they were threatened to blow his house up? And every day there was threats. When he would hear a noise, he would jump and thought it was time. It was not that he feared man, but how would you like if somebody tried to bomb your house and kill your wife and kill your kids. All he wanted was the care for the poor black people that could not have the jobs and could not have the houses and could not take their kids to the amusement park. You talk about Kobe Bryant this week, how he died in a helicopter, and, and how, and I'm sorry, I'm sad what happened to his daughter, but there was times blacks couldn't, they couldn't even play in the NBA. Right. Right. I, by the way, I'm talking about black African Americans. Right. Yes, you hear me? Right. No group of people have been hated and treated that way in the history of the United States of America like black African Americans. Naked in front of people. Look, uh, uh, white people looking at them and selling them like cattle, like hogs, like dogs, like horses. Property, just like horses. What other color people been treated that way? What other white people been treated that way? Name them. Chains on their neck and chains on their feet. Have the meat beaten off their back and cut their, cut their foot off if they try to run away. then when they were set free it'd be like you spend a life not life in prison but most of your life in prison and they said well we're letting you go 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 get going don't give you nothing give you nothing nothing no money no place to stay no fare go into the woods go it's cold out there man. name a human race that they that suffered including the Jew, the United States of America. Hello? Hello? Then after Reconstruction, all that stuff, making laws for them, filling the prisons up, spit on the ground, whatever, go to jail, make them, make them slaves there. Legal. Legal. Their legal way. Come on, talk to me now. And then tell black people you can't vote. You can't vote because you're black African American, so you can't vote. So these sticking KKK can get in office, and you can't vote them out. You can't vote the KKK judge out. This is even not black history in February yet. I'm getting on this thing. And so they say black skin vote. But he had a dream to help the poor people. God helped them. God helped them. Amen. God helped them. Amen. And he said, I fear no man. If I got to die, I'll die. And now blacks can vote. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now blacks can eat at McDonald's. <laughs> Praise God. They eat at Burger King. Chick-fil-A. Get some of your hunger. Amen. Golden Corral. Chatters. Come on, some of you ain't shouting. Some of you ain't shouting. But I'll tell you, I took a man and says, I need God's help and I'm criticized by 
about black preachers. I'm getting criticized by white preachers. Hello? But we need God's help in this thing. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I'm tired. I, I'm not fear. And God bless our dear brother. And uh, I won't tell you what he said, but he said if they don't like it, there's some words that thank God you knew it this thing. I won't I won't tell people that's gonna be a hard time with this. But I'm telling you what, I will say this. I'm not gonna fear what man gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Man, right? We need God's help, isn't that right? Yeah. And I want you to go to Psalms in chapter 12. I want you to go to Psalms, if you will, in chapter 12. Psalms in chapter 12. Go back there. Go back there, please, in Psalms chapter 12. Psalms chapter 12. And so for the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, they have a need. They, they have needs. Now will I rise, say of the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puppet at him. God says, I'm going to come through. Why? Because he's a, and I'll tell you what, the black people in America need to realize that we owe a lot to God. We don't need this thinking rap, hip hop, thinking jungle music of the devil. We don't need the MTV mother of hell wicked movies. We don't need the stinking dope and gang bangers and the sag our pants and baby daddy mama one, baby daddy mama two. But I'm going to fight for this, uh, these people. And I want you to fight. Somebody help me out. The greatest need in black America is independent fundamental Baptist churches that are so in the churches with a godly preacher and a godly church in black America. The greatest need is not socialism. It's not communism. It's so with the churches. So white preachers get down there and plant you some churches like you do in Africa and quit worrying about your daughter marrying some black men. And I believe I have a dream it's going to get done. Amen. So I'm tired of white preachers waiting for some black guy to go down there. Oh. They don't do that in Africa. Right. Right. Don't do it in Birmingham. Amen. Don't do it in Atlanta. No. Don't go on the white outskirts out there somewhere. Away from the black people. Oh, I'm talking about the area that Brother Burley goes down there right there in Atlanta. Amen. Where his loved ones are. Right in the seat of the black community, have a white man come with his U haul. <laughs> the white preachers get mad at me right now. That's okay. They can get over it. They talk about the great big faith revival we need in America. Men of faith. Why don't you have faith enough to move your family? Yeah. And that goes for the black preachers where God wants them to go in a white area too. Yeah. Yeah. And pass to that church and get some black people in there. Yeah. That's what we did here in Knoxville. That's what we're doing here, right here in Knoxville. Amen. We're on the east side. You want to know where all the, most of the blacks are in Knoxville? It's in the east side. Who's the east side? You're here, right here on Jefferson. Amen. We're in. Amen. But we got white people around us, and we go reach them. We go get them. Yes. We go down to the rescue mission. People and love them. Amen. It's just the way he's been coming here for years, for years. She ain't got no race problem. Yeah. Yeah. Got your precious daughter alone right beside your side. Yeah. And God bless you, Sister Kristen. You don't see no color or race thing. Yeah. You don't have that problem. Yeah. And yet there's some white people that don't think they're accepted because they've been taught wrong propaganda and they think the black preacher won't love them. And some of them don't even want to be under a black person. There's those out there that don't care. And there are some black families that will submit themselves under a white preacher. Amen. Amen. And brother, bro, you tell Kimberly, Christiana, don't worry one bit. Don't you don't tell them, don't worry. Don't let nobody shake them. Amen. About interracial marriage. I'll say the same to my, Amen. my children. Yes, sir. It don't matter. God's able to help. No matter what is said by the black side or the white side, as long as they honor their parents and thank God so much for them. As long as they honor their parents and the pastor and their pastor and their parents, and God's moved and God has worked this thing out. They believe that this is of God here. This is of God. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. 
Don't fear what man can do. Amen. And we teach them to pray and depend upon God and cry for God's help to make the marriage work. That's what matters. I'm so sad about Kobe Bryant and my heart breaks and it's sad. I don't wish that on anybody that hell got the crash. But I hope it's a wake-up call to young people you got to realize that all that matters is are you saved? Look up here. Amen. Are you saved from hell? Is heaven your home? Amen. Amen. If it's a helicopter crash, if it's a car crash, you need God's help. Right. Yes, Young people, it's not the scholarships you get at college. It's not the millions you make. Right. It's the heartbreak that he brought on his wife by living in adultery yes. that brought hurt. That brought hurt on his wife and his kids. That they got to live with. Is it, will your wife look whorish like she dressed, revealing her body? Is that what kind of wife you're going to go through? I don't care how many millions they make in Hollywood. Do you want your wife looking like a whore? What kind of life do you want? What's going to matter is what God's blessings on you. Amen. 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 Do you want to deal with the divorce junk? Come on. Do you? Come on. Will you be going? Will, will you be going down to the courthouse with that whore hussy that you liked and looked at her body? It's supposed to be consensual, willing sex outside your marriage. And she cries rape because you got a bunch of money. Look up here. It ain't time to bow your head. It's time for you to ask yourself, is it worth it to have fornication and adultery? Marriage is honorable at all. The bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, look up here. God a judge. Are you going to stay pure? Are you going to stay clean? Are you going to stay virgin until you get married? And listen, and listen, let, you, let the old fogies get mad at me if they want to. I'm trying to keep you young people from having the heartache that Kobe Bryant, even though he had the millions, I'm trying to stop you from having the stinking heartache he had to go through. That's for my Michael Jackson. That's for all the Britneys and that's for all the whoever. And Elvis. That's all that matters. I hope it's a wake-up call to realize you need his help. Amen. Amen. It's going to take a lot for you to be pure and clean this day and age. I thank God my wife's been faithful to me, and I've been faithful to my wife. You girls better thank God Sister Barney gets on you. You better thank God she's trying to correct you. You better thank God she's trying to love you, trying to save you from a stinking abortion one day, trying to shake you, that's trying to save you from a stinking your body becoming impure and having nightmares of some boy breaking your heart and you gotta have a stinking divorce. Somebody help me. I'm not kicking any divorce people down, but the divorce people ought to be saved. Amen, Pastor Barney. Amen. Last thing Brother Burley wants to hear, Sister Trees wants to hear, last thing I want to hear, my wife wants to hear is a Stinking divorce. Oh, amen. <laughs> amen. We need God's help. Amen. Lord, that's what you need more than anything else. Pray more than you ever pray. Amen. Read the Bible more than you read the Bible. Amen. Serve God like you never served them before, Joy. Amen. You never, never did you need his help more than ever to pray. Amen. To walk with God. Amen. Amen. Twelve kids, I need God more than ever. Amen. And it doesn't get easier, it gets harder. You try pastor raising 12 kids, a miracle woman in my life. Pastor this church, gonna be 35 years in April. Amen. 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 You try it. Thousands and thousands of sermons. Preaching in so many churches that God's opened up through the years. Amen. Amen. We think God's help. More than ever before, we need God's help. For the pressure of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now I rise. And God answered Martin King's 
Due to his prayer was about the poor. Black people have been better off than ever they've been in the history of the United States. Of America. Even though the lies of CNN and the fake news about our president, the president's done more for blacks than all those liberals put together. It's helped black people. Better jobs, got cars they never would have been able to drive, got houses they never been able to drive. You know, someone making a three, what do you call it, a six figure, what do you call it? <laughs> a six figure, a six figure <laughs> yearly income. The time the black boy would get a rope around his neck if he even looked at a white girl. Now he's married, some of the best. These white priests are real bad at me now. These black priests are bad at me. Oh, no. I fear no man. You, be, you can be tell I fear no man. White preacher trying to put fear in me. How are you going about it the wrong way? How? Stop it! We have the reaching all races everywhere in conference coming. God will, it's coming. Amen. Got mad. Amen. Took a stand against racism. Amen. Ah! You're going about it the wrong way. Paul said, just because I said, forget about worrying about being your son in laws and brothers in laws and them dating interracial, you just got to explain to them why Moses buried the Ethiopian woman. Got upset about that. During my preaching, heckling, 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 heckling me. He better, he better thank God. Well, I'll tell you what, he better thank God. He better thank Almighty God amen, for grace and mercy. Somebody say amen. amen. And I didn't know what was all going on. Brother, brother, my sister, pastor, he knew what was going on. I was just getting with it and preaching. I, I did not know some of those statements that were going on there. But I caught the last one when he looked at me and said in front of everybody and said, you can't make them. I was talking about uh, blacks going to white churches, white churches going to black uh, churches and, and, and quit uh, all this stinking racial junk. And, and I was preaching against this racist. And he said, you can't make them. And I caught that one. I didn't catch some of the other stuff. But I said in front of everyone, the Bible says rebuke in front of all that all may fear. And I said, hey, I can have the same attitude about dope. I can have the same attitude about liquor. I can say the same attitude about adultery. I can't make them, but I'm going to preach it. I'm going to preach to them. I'm going to preach to them. Amen. Amen. Well, that comes from the KKK were mad because they were busing black people into white schools. They were busing black people into white schools. You want to know why? They had the best schools. They had the best education. Poor black people get good, a good education for their kids. So the government says, we're going to bust them in. A lot of white people are against them. They believe in segregation. They preached it. They preached. Some of the great leaders, you get mad at me. We, I, 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 we, God mentioned Peter in the Bible, so I can, I can mention John R. Rice in the Bible. Now, they're really going to write me off now. Because that's when they start worshiping man more than God. I thank God for the good of John Rice. We need the tears of John Rice. We need the tears of our dear brother. We need, we need a zeal for his souls. We need what he had there. But that segregation stuff, don't expect me to believe that garbage. God's not into segregation. God's not into segregation. Books written where it's a sin to interracial marriage. No, I take, I, 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 I take, I take the good of the Bob Grays. I take good of the uh, Doctor Jack. I, I thank God, Hiles Anderson College. Thank God, uh, the blessing that they've been through us through the years, even to my own children. And, my, and thank God for the people in our church. And I thank God for Pastor Jack Hiles. I thank God for Peter, but he had faults. I thank God for Paul, but he had faults. I thank God for John Rice, but he had faults. Whether you know it or not, the only sinless one is Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and He's the one that died on that cross and went to hell for us. The one Jack Hiles couldn't do what he did for God if it wasn't for God's help. John R. Rice couldn't do for it with God if it wasn't for God's help. And I mentioned my own president, Dr. A. V. Henderson, who, who who was known as Dr. A. V. Henderson, and pastored one of the largest churches in America that blacks were not able to be members and blacks could not be baptized and was not allowed to be baptized in this church. And yet I went to his college and 
contest. You had to memorize the sermon word by word. Your English had to been right. Out of the whole student body, I came in second place, and I would have came in first place if they weren't prejudiced. Now, just joking. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. No, don't say that. I love, it. I love the preacher. I love the preacher that was his pastor. Probably. That taught us in in class about preaching. That's funny. Yeah. And I love him. I preached at his church, his pastor's church. Matter of fact, to be a young, we just graduated. Sister Barton, I tell you, I got so frustrated. They didn't, they didn't have um, cell phones like we do with GPS on them. They had the old way, and you had to read the Brother Early, he's going to get chuck on this. They didn't have the navigation. My wife, God bless her. <laughs> I'm trying to be the leader, trying to be the band. You know, taking the lead way. You know how we do, Brother Barry. Brother, I don't know, I was supposed to be going south for about two hours or north. Not, I, brother, I was going the wrong direction. And I'll tell you, I got there at the end of the service. I was so mad. And I was so mad. I got there at the end. I wanted to get there in the beginning. But I'll tell you what, Sister Barnett, we went to his church. And I love Brother Burr. I thank God so much when he resigned. He's not there now. But um, I'll never forget, we went there. And I'll never forget, he gave us a good size love offering. I didn't even preach. But I had a desire to get there early. And that was his pastor and he was one of my best professors that I love and I'll tell you what I won second place and they, they gave you a prize they gave you a prize they gave you it was some funds and I did some special things for you and I looked at his face and I said I love you to my president of our company and I didn't get bitter. I didn't get bitter. God helped me. God helped me. I didn't get bitter. I graduated. I just had a dream one day. I started church. They going, I'm not going to have a race problem that I see. And God dealt with Peter. I'm sure God dealt with him. I'm sure God would deal with these black preachers. This is prejudice as well. Sad, bro, bro. Some of the black people will get up. But we'll get on your precious ones that you love. We're fighting for them, brother. And uh, someone wanted to talk about that. Just think it in your heart. How, how can a white girl marry a blah, 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 blah. How can a black girl marry, 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 a, marry a white guy? How can I, and the white ones, how can a white, 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 white one marry a black girl? How, how can a black guy marry a white one? You get it from both sides. It's crazy, a Spanish one, a Guatemalan one, a Portuguese one. But I won the heart of my father. God help me. Lord, I'll tell you why I won his heart. It's going to take God's help for you, young people. Very quickly, Psalms 46. Very quickly, Psalms 46. Psalms 46. God is our refuge and strength. Very well. Present help. And that's our, we, we need God's help more than ever. Our country's in trouble, friends. America's in trouble. Who would ever think Bernie Sanders promoting socialism and communism is gaining momentum to be the next president of the United States of America? And Satan's trying to do everything he can do to take out our president, a conservative. Marching for life, taking a stand against abortion. We need God's help in self coming So many judges. And you see what the judge did, and, and the judges, and you see they promoted the sodomite and homosexuality. Obama was in there. You see what the judges did, made it law. We need God's help, friends. God's help. We need black people to wake up and smell the coffee and realize they're just being used by the, some of these democratics. They're not all democratics, but some of them are, look like the devil's possessed. Really? And you got a problem.
pray about that. Okay? We need God's help, friends. I need God's help as a husband. She needs uh, God's help as a wife. Your wife needs help. These husbands need help. These teenagers need help. Cry for help. Amen. Get up and pray in the morning. Quit trying to go off to school without prayer. Talk to God. Amen. Okay? Read your Bible. Meditate in the Word of God. You need God's help. Sunday school teacher, bus workers. I need his help. You need his help. Amen. Cry out to him tonight. Brother Graham, you need God's help more than you ever did before when the devil attacks your family. That's why I keep mentioning Brother Graham. I hope we keep fighting. Brother Graham, the best weapon is prayer on your knees. Okay, you got to get along and pray for your family. Amen. Name them, Brother Graham. Amen. Every day, name them. They're all precious. Every one of them. Sister Wade, you got to have to pray. Okay? All right, Christian, you understand that? Spend time alone with God. Young girls, I've been thinking about you. I hope you be pure and clean. You're going to take God's You need God's help, boys. You can do it. You can do it. Last verse I want to show you is 1 Chronicles chapter 4. And then we're going to close here. So I asked Sister Barnett to help me to be my alarm clock. I don't want her to have to have way, way me down tonight. Okay, Sister Barnett. I asked to be my helper. And uh, but I'm going to close with this because I don't want to keep you too long. Okay? I don't want to preach to you too long. First Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. Jabez was what? More honorable, more honorable than his what? Brethren. And his mother called his name what? Jabez. And because I bear him with what? Sorrow. Verse 10. And Jabez what? Call on God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldst what? Bless me indeed. And what? And enlarge my hopes. And that thy hand might be what? With me, and that thou wouldest what? Well, keep me from evil. Underline this, that it may not what? Well, grieve me. I love this. I love this. And God will rather him that which is what he will. Fred Martin Luther King had a dream. He accomplished it. He got a bullet in his head. He had a dream. And I told you, my dream is going bigger, and your dream is going bigger. We have so much we want to see God say. God help Martin Luther King with all his faults. How much would God help your pastor? I need his help. God's going to help us. I dream from the community center to the Lime City to this building. Padded pews. Beautiful sound system God blessed us with here. Raising the money we raised for the big floor downstairs. And help us with some of our best ministry. God's going to help us with these bucket offerings coming up and these special projects and God's going to help us with all these things that we want to see God do. Let's go ahead. We've got a dream. Isn't that right? I've got a dream. With my burden, I want you to pray for God's help. I need God's help. God's going to help us to get some white preachers to respond. God's going to help some black preachers to respond. Brother Burley, would you explain, have a talk with, and I believe you and Sister Patrice will, with Kimberly and Christiana, you already have, but can you, can you add in there, they're pilgrims, they're, they're setting pace in this matter. They're breaking history. And let them know there's others to follow. Don't let anything depress them to get them down. All that matters is that you both